In a recent video, I asked the question, was it more sensible to buy a car to get home than catch a 118 pounds train? And uh, we're gonna conclude that as the car has been purchased and is going on to its new home. So we're gonna discuss all the fundamentals. We're just waiting for the little Peugeot to go bye-bye. Uh, off with new owner, Scott. There she goes, you're all clear. Super, bye. Bye bye, little rat. Green and there car. she goes. I feel like we hardly knew you. We hardly knew that we car. Did I had one car. amazing drive. There she goes. In that car. But yeah, corner. let's return to the fundamental hmm. question. Did it actually make sense? Was it a sensible course of action? Do you do sensible? No. But ignoring I, that for really a moment. Are we really going for it? Was this yeah. a sensible thing to do? Well, okay. I mean, I, I've just sold the car for exactly what I paid for it. So I paid £550. I just sold it for £550. So that means break even in a Did way the train wasn't. Did you put any expenditure into it? I put some petrol in it. And you paid a day's insurance? And a day's insurance. So how yeah. much was that? Uh, altogether, that's probably about 50 quid. Okay, so probably about 68 pounds yeah. up? Yeah, compared to catching the train. So that's, that, it's a win. And you didn't win. have to go on the train. It's an absolute win. I mean, that is the main thing. Didn't yeah, have I didn't have to go on the train on that have line. to go on the train. Trains are lovely. Not on that line. <laughs> no, no, it can be prone to unreliability. Mm. Well, ironically, he is the train driver. Yeah, and he but came not here, that line. And he came here on the train. He must and have it had was the, the, the like, Midas touch with it. Like, yeah. it, it worked. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, on the, the major, major headline is it was cheaper to buy a car and drive it home than it was to um, get a train ticket. But, of course, in reality, uh, I've spent weeks trying to sell that car. I eventually sold um, via the classified section of the slightly sweary forum. Uh, hello, members of the beige pages. And uh, I, I should have gone there sooner, really. It's the prime yeah. place to sell that sort of car. But also, it was a nice way of... We talked earlier in the year about flipping cars. Yeah. Um, not in that way, because, you know, learn a driver at all. Um, we talked about flipping cars, and it's an easy way of flipping cars, isn't it? Yeah, you... and on paper, it seems like it makes so much sense. Mm. But the reality is, selling cars is not an easy business. No, it so isn't. So people often complain that oh, all they do is put a couple of grand on the price and blah, 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 easy money. You know, yeah, anyone who's spent any time selling cars oh, yeah, knows it's not easy We sold the Actri 7 that we didn't actually want to sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we managed to sell. Well, yeah, that, the Atri Seven has sold, and someone yeah. is quite sad about it. No, no, no. It wasn't meant. I'm a firm believer in fate, and it wasn't meant to be. Mm. One day I will have all the Daihatsus, but today is not that day, and my love is dedicated to one Daihatsu. Oh. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should probably jump straight into a fleet. Oh, we're doing a fleet uh, update. Should we do a fleet update? Might as well because okay. we're here. So it's broken. Broken. Uh, yeah, we broken. now have a leak off kit. I, I bought a kit just because you broken. get all the pipe work, all the connectors. And everything so we're, we're, we're now set up you know when to you do, do like YouTube test. chapters yeah. let's do the condensed version broken broken, broken 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 not broken yeah yeah maybe a bit broken a little bit but she got she's stuck throttle ish right she's been absolutely good as gold today broken broken that's the main one so yeah earlier the 2cv is currently sharing daily duties with betty the ford fairmont betty is not here uh she's at home Shemi needs to come back out. Shemi yeah. does need to come back out, and maybe we do that today. But I love my 2CV. I know you like your 2CV. Le leave her out for today. Tomorrow we're going to the theatre, so... Oh, yeah. Well, it's effectively a birthday treat, a late birthday treat. No, that's treat. what I'm saying. It's yeah. your birthday treat. So we'll, we'll keep Ellie out, and we'll use Ellie for that. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, yeah, moving on to the Bolingo I've just told you. Um, injectors, we think. Yeah, we did have um, James Walsh, who is the king of Bolingos, come and have a look. We went through lots of things on the engines cleaned up lots of connectors and so yeah, on yeah. um and she's still doing yeah, exactly nothing doing an alexia session thing. has yeah. proved it's not electrical it the, must be mechanical yeah lots of the alexia um faults obviously were disconnecting reconnected and then yeah. clearing the faults but it did leave some faults uh and you've got the le leak check kit for bella haven't you yeah so, so that, that hopefully we're, we're going to do done. that not today unfortunately not because today. i'm wearing bright pink shorts and you can't work on a car in bright pink shorts but this week hopefully that will be happening because we yeah. need bella back on the road she is our daily she is our tow vehicle so yeah yeah just a really useful vehicle need. i do miss driving it moving inside we've got shemi who can come forward now because now we've got Ooh, an extra space in here by the so. way do you like i did this parking folks yeah i did this yeah, we had to push the car in manually because otherwise you wouldn't get out the door. But well, you, no. you did line it up very I well and squeezed it in. I got her to here and yeah. then got out. Lovely bit of reversal. I was pleased with that. Yeah. So um, that's where that is. Tuck isn't actually broken. I thought you said in gear. 
I mean, yes, her diff is very, very mm. noisy and her CVT system isn't working very well. Took is a big project. But yeah, body work is what we want to do with Took. I mean, even looking at the chrome around her machine. headlamp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I'm, just I'm, getting worse. Somewhere, I have some headlamp rings. Do you? Somewhere, yeah. Obviously, fleet aside, a big clear out needs to happen. We've got to do the social first before we think about yeah, that. Yeah, got our social, so first social of the year this weekend, which is fully booked. I'm sorry mm -hmm. if you haven't got a ticket for it, That's but then uh, we, we will do more. Yes. Uh, who are we going for next, Myrtle? Um, I'm just trying to work out if we can get to Myrtle, but um, it's all a bit um, tight. Can we get down this way? Uh, no, not ever so much. <laughs> Bob, Bob is a bit of an issue in here. Bob <laughs> takes up a lot of space. And Bob Should is I, indeed a project. Should we do sideways, Bob? I mean, it might sideways be an option. Bob, sideways took. Although yeah. that's going to be a swear word for getting Bob out. But Bob is quite long though when you come all the way to the drawbar. Bob is a project, but I'm spending a lot of time on the folding camper and trailer tent Facebook groups, which are actually really helpful. Um, there are people coming up who are specific engineers to these because if you, um, I used to work with statics and you need certain certificates to work on statics. You need certain certificates to work on Taurus. If you've got warm air heating, you have to have another certificate. I suspect these are another certificate again. So you need to make sure you've got the right engineer to do this. Um, I've, heard, I've seen people do it themselves. I'm not doing it. I've mm -hmm. seen too many horrible things on caravan parks yeah. to, to do that. So um, we're quite happy with Bob using the air and that stuff at the moment. Mm -hmm. But Bob definitely is a project. Needs some just love. Need to address the frame because at the back... Yeah. Um, on the runner, it's not sitting right, which is making the whole frame sit forward slightly. Uh, and we need to rectify that before it becomes a real problem. Might just be a case of tightening the frame all over. Yeah. Uh, but we need to give him uh, his 60 second erection and, and have a proper look at that. Mm -hmm. So that is on the car. And mm -hmm. then up towards the back, um, <laughs> I, I can't squeeze in. We got Giselle is still sat there. We were tinkering with Giselle last week um, after the alternative replacement. We've got issues with the lights misbehaving and I haven't got to the bottom of it yet. Yeah, it's, Tim, a, it's kind of erratic who was, error. Who was on a track day with yesterday, suggested just checking all the bulbs are good. So there's nothing funny going on there. Mm. So I might, might go through okay. and do that. But I think it's going to be... I'm slightly worried I've blown something in the headlamp switch when she was overcharging. Yeah. I mean, we haven't really done the trial and error. We haven't gone through all the connectors and whatnot, at which we no. to see if there's anything that's... But it's just so random. Yeah, There's so just, that's on the list. We will get there, yeah. especially once we start getting a bit more space because now we've only got one vehicle here. Mm -hmm. In fact, we could actually roll Shemi forward, still get Bella in next to her, and then it's a bit easier to get the cars at the back. Are we going to do that now? Maybe. But you've got uh, to pick and, and then there's, on. there's Myrtle. Myrtle is still on the to-do list. You'll notice the bonnet is off. That's because I've been trying to revive her dead battery, but it is dead. Very dead. But we know she's got a battery drain. She's bra yeah. drained, brained, drained a couple of batteries. Yeah, she seems to have drained that one even though it disconnected the battery, which is very That's impressive. That's impressive. impressive. That is impressive. Yeah. Um, Shemi showing the check engine light. Uh, oh, yeah, we should clear that because we've got the computer. Yeah, we here. need to clear and that. We fix the exhaust leak and we're like, well, maybe that'll settle it down. Did, we maybe... didn't run the diagnostics after that, did we? No. No, so we need to run the diagnostics on it again. On it, sorry, Shem, on her again. And she needs two rear tyres. But other than that, she's great stuff. Yeah, the rear tyres are a mess. Um, apart from all the welding she needs. We don't talk about that. Okay. Okay, she does need a little no, welding. I've warned Tim that later in the summer, she's coming in for the welding. Are you taking Shemmy to Tim? Yeah. Oh, I feel ashamed. I'm like, oh, it's not even my fault. He, he doesn't seem to mind Daihatsu's. Oh, I'm not oh. sure he'll welcome another Citroen into his workshop, though. Especially not that one. Especially not that one. No. Yeah. No. So that's why we... Are you interested to let him have a go with his elbow? Yeah. But that is the entirety of the fleet, isn't it? That... Uh, no, you got Betty at home. Oh. Yeah, I mentioned Betty at home. Did you? Yeah. Did you mention her issues? Well, people are probably aware of her dashboard There's a whole issues. video. Oh, my yeah. stomach is making horrific noises, folks. Please excuse me. Yeah. I like you rubbing your belly. I don't know why I'm rubbing my belly. Yeah. Sym that is sympathy growls. Isn't it? Yeah, that is all Crikey. of it. Crikey. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Eight. Eight at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eight plus a bob. Yeah, so we're getting there. I'm, I'm trying to get on top of the numbers. No, so. that's that's good. We had 11. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is a bit better. We can now park almost everything inside. I mean, obviously, we have one car at home. Bet getting Betty in here is still a bit of a struggle, which is why We Betty's could get everything but Betty in here. Yeah. It's just Betty's a heifer. Yeah. Mm. She big. She is. She but is. yeah, people are asking about Ellie's old engine. 
know what's going on with that what's going on with the engine she's using um, i'm still using that uh, message pete sparrow just the other day to say it's running beautifully or right, it's going to say you'll probably need to do tap it to give that engine a bit more of a service uh, this one we need to strip down but um, there's been various personal life getting in the way of that uh, but both with um, me, life me and colin it was meant to be uh, doing the disassembly on it, so it will happen. And also we've got another Chevy engine that we're supposed to be doing diagnostics on. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> the original engine out of Chevy we were going to dismantle and see what's going on. I still don't know how to dismantle it though. Mini Hubnut has, um, is doing Duke of Edinburgh and he has... Maybe we'll give him that project then. I Take that engine say, apart. Just let him dissect because he loves disassembly and reassembly. Yeah, yeah, and we've got manuals. The problem is I think it requires loads of special tools that we don't have. Possibly. I mean, mm. we can let him have a look. Give him. We got the manual. Well, the thing is, if he breaks something in the engine, it matters not at all. Well, no, exactly. I mean, it's helpful for spares. But... It's all, the alternative is we just take it to Tanner Gross and weigh it in. No, because spares are like nigh on impossible. So if we've got another ruined. engine, no, we don't know if that engine is ruined because we haven't run any diagnostics. Well, that's true. Yeah, we haven't done. She was just gone smoky. It. Yeah. And now we need she's to get not. the pistons out and have a look. There you go. That, that, that's that one. Is, is, is it worth buying a car? Um, is it worth buying a car to avoid a train ticket? Very much depends what you actually want to do with the chosen car. If you just want to keep it, then maybe it does work. I've done that before. Rover 400 many, many years ago. But it would have been a lot easier to just get the train. Are you sure? Because you had the whole thrill of a collection caper. I did, Which is when and it was you're very your, enjoyable, though. When one. you're at your happiest. Yeah, I love a caper. Uh, you had the thrill of a new car, which, again, you yeah, loved the thrill yeah. of a new car. Happened to be a joy to drive. It was, So yeah. you enjoyed driving it as well. Um, I think we could have pushed harder to sell it, and then we weren't really thinking about it. But, yeah, I think if, if you were to do it again, which I'm sure you will, um, just get it sold straight away. They're just going to be flippers. Yeah. And that's that's the way to do it. You it's know? just uh, one, one of the difficulties. We we're miles away from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it does make flipping cars, especially cheap cars, because who's going to travel to I'm buy a really, cheap car? really scared of this whole flipping scenario. <laughs> yeah. so maybe we won't <laughs> flip anything. Driver. We'll just keep on. Um, but we, we have no collection caper plans at the moment. We're just going to try and fix what we've got. Yes. Yeah. This feels... Doesn't it feel a bit calmer, a bit more manageable? It does already. It's a bit of a load off the shoulder. It's like, oof. I think it is worth it. I just think we need to be quicker off the mark, except that it's not something we're keeping. We're just flipping it mm -hmm. and, and get it sold straight well, that's away. that's the weird thing. I mean, I, I've, I've lost count of how many cars I've owned over the years, but it must be comfortably over 80 now. And every time I've kind of treated it as, I'm going to keep this car forever. This is what I've always wanted to own. I've never treated a car purchase as short term. And yet almost every one of those 80 odd purchases has ended up being a short term thing like yeah. six months later on board and also you like the reason we got stuck with the old sits is because you wanted to drive it now if you go and buy it and drive it you've itch, scratched that itch yeah it's very true i'm very very fortunate that i have a youtube channel where i get to drive all manner of lovely mm. cars without actually having to own them and that is quite a thing yeah but yeah. you you can scratch that itch by driving it from wherever madcap place you've decided you're getting a car mm -hmm. bringing it home and then selling it on and you know we'll always be honest about what the problems are with the car yeah. and i'm pointing here it's an empty yeah. space <laughs> whether, it, whether it leaks oil on the floor only a little, little. Bit. yeah only a little um bit. but um yeah you know it, it's i think it is i didn't film my screen wash solution oh because you you know the 106 the you operate the front wash as the back one went and if you did it the opposite way around the front one sort of dribbled a bit they didn't really work so, uh, squirty bottle of water. Job jobbed. Sent him on his way. Happy as late. High tech. High, High tech, tech solutions. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, and Bob's got a hole we need to fix as well. Moving swiftly on. Uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to head home now because I've got an editing to do list which is like out of control. Uh, so, yeah, that's another thing that's keeping me from tinkering is I've got far too many videos to edit, including one of yours. Ooh. Where have we been? You will find out Somebody in the future. Knows. Somebody knows. Yeah. Somebody did put on okay. Twitter. So someone yes. will find out in the future, or everyone will find out in the future, Miss <laughs> Hubnut video. So do go and but check yeah, out Miss Hubnut's channel. And uh, but no, hopefully we, that's going to be reinvigorated and back up and running. We've got to get some tinkering done on Bella this week. That's the, If we're going to do any tinkering, it's Bella, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm. So we're, we're having tomorrow off because I haven't had a day off for far too long. And then... Um, yeah, in the evening. And then Thursday, 
Might be our day. Might be our day. Might. <laughs> Might be our day. So anyway, yeah. thank you very much for watching and thank you for your continued support if you're doing channel memberships or Patreon or whatever. Um, don't forget, we haven't got any items of merch on, but you can buy some. Um, you must have something somewhere. Sticker. Sticker. We, we don't sell those anymore. Oh. That's the old style. Put your hand across that bit and then... <laughs> yeah, I'll try and make it circular. <laughs> no. Yeah, we, we, no, we've that's, got, that's not working. We, we've got, uh, yeah, we're, we're professional. Oh, stickers over there. Oh Where yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on the toolbox. Go on, clap. Oh, I'm just going to squeeze in over here. Yeah, we've we got stickers and fridge magnets available in these designs. I think these are the stickers. No, no they're these the magnets. are magnets. Because it's metal. Yeah. There's so there we go. Oh, and all these people who keep on going, what does B82P mean? There it is. That was my first 2CV below my second 2CV. Both those cars are on the same chassis, as it turns out. Don't tell DVLA. But yeah, that explains B82P over there. All right, I'm, I'm going to go now because we haven't wound this video up successfully. <laughs> Bye. Waffle.